Hey guys, JH Miller one here and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going out to a pond and doing a little bit of wintertime bass fishing. Got three rods rigged up and uh, ready to catch some bass. So let's get out there and uh, see what we can do. Alright, let's take a look at the rods today. We got a swim jig, Texas rig, and a white charter bear. I'm going to be using this one first to cover some water. This water is really clear out here. It's pretty far out. I'm just going to drop it down. And slow roll it all the way back. I got one. There we go. That's the smallest bite I think I've ever had. You don't feel too bad either. Hadn't seen him yet either. It might be a good fish. He ain't bad. Let's get him up here. There we go. Hook popped right out. Here we go. It's our first bass. Caught out of probably about seven, eight, nine feet of water. Uh, it's a nice fish. Let's see if we can get some more. Now, one of the tips I have for you guys to find some fish this time of year is going to look for one of four things. If you can find all of them, you got just a perfect day. You're looking for structure, grass, or oxygen, food, and warm water. If you can find all of those things, that's where these fish are going to be hanging out. Grass, if you pull in some green grass, I learned this from Cody. Uh, there's a link to his page, his Instagram page in the description. Um, green grass is going to be producing oxygen. These fish are going to love that this time of year. They're going to be more comfortable around it. If you pull up dead grass, and you just need to get out of there. It's producing CO2. And it's just really not holding the heat like the green grass does. And uh, where there's more oxygen, there's going to be more food. And these fish are going to have a plentiful source of food to eat uh, whenever they need it. So that's just a quick tip for you guys when you're trying to find some fish in these tough months. That feels like a good fish. That might be a nice one. Yeah, that's not a bad fish, guys. Guys, this is a good one. Guys, this is actually a good fish. He's pulling, he's pulling my line, making my line speed. That's a good fish. Come here. That's what we want right there, guys. That's a chunk. Oh yeah, look at that. That is what we're after. Right up in the middle. Look how look how healthy this fish is. Look at that. That's exactly what we want. Hooked right inside of the mouth. Get a weight on this thing if I have my scale. Just hit three. Oh, no, it's still going. Three, two. Solid fish. I'll take a three, two. Any day. Very, very solid fish. Thank you. And she's gone. And that was, of course, caught on the white Armstrong Outfitters chatterbait. There's also a link to that in the description if you want to pick up one of these. These things are beautiful baits, uh, handmade. And uh, as you can see, they catch some good fish. Now, one of the little theories that I have about where I caught that fish is that there's green grass out there. Um, year round, there's always grass kind of out here in the middle. That's another good one. Another nice fish. That feels like a nice one, too. Oh my god, guys, it's two really solid fish. Two casts in a row. This one, I think, might be bigger. Oh my god, guys. Look at that. Two in a row. Look at that. No mistake. Warmer day. Sun's out. Absolutely wanted this bait. Wow. Another, another beautiful fish. Look at that. Two casts in a row, guys. What did I say about the grass? Warmer water. These things are munching. I'm telling you guys, what did I say? White chatterbait. It's uh, really paying off today. These fish are really munching. I've only caught three so far, but they were three in a row uh, off of one spot. So I'm gonna give that spot a little bit of time to cool off and I'm gonna hit it again. Um, we're gonna see what happens. I might throw the swim jig here in a minute and give him something a little bit more low profile, uh, more natural colors, but we're gonna have to see. But uh, I'm telling you guys, this is a start that I can get behind. Oh, that's the tree. Oh my God. That sucks. I'm gonna break this off. That's one of those trees I was telling you guys about. I'm doing everything I can to get this white chatterbait back because I love 
I love this bait. It's caught me a bunch of good fish. If we have to break it off, we have to break it off. Yep, there it goes. God dang, I hate that. Oh, that sucks. Can't get mad, it happens. Okay. As much as that sucks, you can't start complaining about it. I'm gonna start throwing a swim jig instead. Uh, no blades, a lot more natural color on it. You can work it a few feet off the bottom, maybe two or three feet off the bottom, and I got one. That's a big fish, guys. Unless it's just this rod. It might just be the rod, because this is a heavier action rod. It's a solid one. <laughs> Felt a heck of a lot bigger at first. See it. Thank you, buddy. That's the fine line that you've really got to hit. Is, you know, do you want to cover water and take your chances? Or do you want to throw something slow that they might not, or that they might want a little bit more? That's a fish. That feels nice. All these fish felt nice just because I haven't had a chance to really go out and get them recently. I don't think he's out. No, he's good. Yeah, he's a good fish. In fact, I think he's a pretty nice fish. Yeah, we'll take him. Don't throw it. Don't throw it. Don't throw it. Don't throw it. Yeah. Nice fish. He'll go two and a half. Another nice fish. Look at that on the swim jig. Top of the mouth. Beautiful. So we want to see. Throw on this for a minute and see if we can get some more. Thank you, buddy. Now that I'm starting to throw a swim jig, I'm really starting to think this is gonna be the money. I wanna throw something slow like the Texas rig, put it in more like, you know, a slower fashion so they'll wanna eat it more. But if they're eating the moving baits, I'm not gonna take that away from them. So I'm gonna keep throwing this and see if we can catch some more. Um, and if that doesn't work out, I'll start throwing a Texas rig. But see, like I said, guys, find a pattern, stick to it. And that's exactly what's happening right now. And sometimes I do do a little yo-yo. I'm going to burn it back and just throw it out there. Show you guys. I'm doing a yo-yo. Get it three or four feet off the bottom and water it back down. That's another good way. You cover more more water columns. You know, you drop it to the bottom. Okay, now it's on the bottom. We're at... Oh, I felt some grass there. I thought that was a fish. See, I'm dragging it through grass right now. I got one. <laughs> wow. I love it whenever I can show off a technique and then get a fish and man he is running like absolute crazy man he hadn't stopped running yet <laughs> jeez he's that's a good fish oh he popped off he popped off that was a good three and a half pounder he popped off right there he ran all the way but he was right out there in that grass on the bottom that fish hit a full sprint all the way over here and he popped off Man, you hate seeing that, but that's a good sign. What did I say? I'm gonna throw it out there and try something new. Yo-yo it off the bottom, and I pulled it through some grass. As soon as it came through that grass, he was on it. So I'm gonna keep doing that and see if that would be a little bit better. That's a good fish. And where there's one good fish, there's gonna be more. So let's go catch him. Oh, there's backlash a little bit. Throw it out to the middle, I'm dropping it off. No way. That's a big one, guys. That's a good fish. I literally start recording after I cast it. Oh, please don't come off. Watch him not be big. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good fish. Come here. Come here. That's a nice fish. He absolutely inhaled it. Wow. He's got a massive head on him. He's Look at that. He's not even that big. He just has a huge head on him. I gotta get a picture of that swim jig in his mouth. He absolutely just inhaled it. I saw the head on him and thought he was a four pounder up. Look at that. Literally the cast after I lost that one fish. And he's on it. That's a solid fish. Let's go get some more. Man, guys, I love it. Whenever I explain something like that and it works out. Here we go. Same exact spot. Dropping it to the bottom. He ate that one on the fall too. Now it's on the bottom. I got one. No way. Three in a row again, and another good fish. This feels good. He's head shaking. I'm not gonna horse him. I don't wanna lose him like I did the other one. Oh, that's a good one. We're weighing him. 
That's a good fish. There's my foot against him right there. Look at that. Three fish, three casts. And, oh, this thing's been eating. This thing has not stopped eating since the temperatures dropped. Look at that belly. Look at that. Here's my phone next to it for a comparison. Look at that. Yeah, we're getting a weight on him. We're gonna get him back. That's three fish in a row just out there. Man, guys, I think I really figured it out. I figured out the pattern. Swim jigs deep in the grass. Look at that. Come on, give me over three. Yep, three pounds flat. And look, look at that. Heck yeah, guys. Getting him back. Let's go catch another one bigger than this. Oh. Heck yeah. Let's go. Let's go for four. Just literally out there, deep, deep water, middle of the grass, dropping it to the bottom. And another. Let's get four. How cool would that be? Got him. No way. Oh. Oh, don't. Get up here. Yes. Hook came right out. Four in a row. Another one. Good two and a half. And this is the bait that's putting out all the work. I think it's a Strike King jig paired with the Strike King trailer. Don't quote me, but I think that's what it is. Three eighths ounce. This thing's just killing him today. Four in a row. Good grief. Let's go for five, man. We're out there in the middle. Drop it off. That's on the bottom. Just start working it through. I got. No, oh, it popped off. That's gonna be five. That was gonna be five. I tied my record. I'm happy with that in December. No way. I'm just gonna be just killing these things until the sun sets. Look at this. On the bottom. Now we're just, I got him. Wow. I don't think it gets better than this, guys. I don't know how big he is. He's running right at me. Another solid fish. If I needed to win the tournament and just catch two pounders after two pounders after two pounders, I think I'd have it in the bag today. Look at that compared to my foot. Solid two all day. Talk about wearing them out. Man, I bet that's that fish I lost a cast to go to. Okay. Now we're gonna start covering a little bit more to the left and a little bit more to the right, because I don't want to scare all these fish off. Because I've caught pretty much five in a row. I got one. Almost, I think. My drag should have slipped on that one. Guys, I think this is a nice one. He's about to jump. Please don't. Oh, this is a good one. Please don't jump. Keep him down. He ain't even the biggest fish, but he just fought like crazy. Look how small that fish's mouth is. Absolutely choked it. Look, look how big its body is. Oh, he wasn't coming off. I got him right through the side. Six fish and seven casts. Look at that. Let's see if we can get another one. Oh my god. I'm running out of things to say when I release these fish just because I was not expecting to catch this many fish today. Okay. Again, just throwing out there deep as we can. I think the possibility of catching a seven or eight pounder is not out of the options today. Ah, I thought I had one. I think that was just grass. Yep, what did I say? Look at that. As green as it could possibly get. That's awesome. 
deep, 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 deep. Okay, drag's not too tight. I got one. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't think there's such a thing as getting tired of catching good fish, but I'm getting close to it if there is one. Oh, he is that big. Where I weigh him to. He isn't as healthy as the other one, so he's healthy, but he isn't as fat as the other ones. But we're going to get a weight on him regardless, just so we can see. Definitely one of the longest. Or seven fish or something like that in nine casts. Oh, let me zero it out. 213. Yep, close to three. So the biggest one so far that I've put a weight on. 323 two, three, and 213. And back into the depths. Talk about a pattern. Let me tell you, seven fish and nine casts, I don't think you're beating that. Especially, we're closing up on Christmas, man. The middle of December in a small pond. It's not small, as you can see behind me. It's a pretty big pond. But uh, for December, I'm taking this all freaking day. And we got another hour before the sun sets. So this little guy right here, we're going to be killing it. Covering new areas. I got it. That was about the hardest bite I've ever had. Jolted my rod. Don't spit it. And flip him up. Look at that compared to my foot again. And he ate it right off the bottom. Right, right through the top of the mouth. Just like they should. Let's get back out there. And with that... We're calling this a day. I am very, very happy with the results. Caught a bunch of very nice fish, learned a new pattern. Hope you guys learned some stuff too. Uh, and you know, followed along with me in this journey. Um, very, very good day. So uh, social media links are in the description as well as the baits that I use. Go check them out if you haven't already. And until next time, Jay Schmiller went out. See ya.